How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Lonely Avenue as recorded by Ray Charles on guitar. I honestly don't know how it's taken me so long to do a lesson on this song but it's one of my favorite Ray Charles songs and it's a blues in the key of A flat. We're going to use a capo on the fourth fret and I'm going to break down a rhythm guitar part that goes through the entire song. So when you're done with this lesson you'll be able to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something. If you're interested in improving your blues guitar playing, I've got a free blues training series at the first link down below that's not on YouTube. It comes with tabs and sheet music and they're really tricked out. We've got multiple camera angles and downloads for each video, all completely for free. So check that out at the first link down below if you want to improve your blues guitar playing. And with that said, Let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play Lonely Avenue as recorded by Ray Charles on guitar. Now this is a blues in the key of A flat. And I'm gonna show you some really great blues comping chords here. And you can play this on a couple different levels. The easiest way to play it would be strumming the chords. And then you could also do it hybrid picking. So that's where we're gonna use our pick and our other fingers, I'll be using my middle and my ring finger to pinch the strings all at the same time. That gets more of like a piano sound. So I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down. Here we go, one, and two, and three. So that's one time through our 12 bar blues with this little intro chord. So a couple things to keep in mind, I am using a capo here on the fourth fret and I'll be calling out the chords, I'll be calling out the capo chords. So I'll be thinking of this as like an E7, an A7, and a B7 just relative to the capo there. Now the first chord I'm playing is a B7 sharp nine, and this is what I call the Jimi Hendrix chord. We're gonna start on the fifth string and play two, one, two, three. And I'll mute the low E and the high E. Now, Ray sort of hits the bass note first and then plays the rest of the chord. So that's our little intro there. One, and two, and three, and four, and then we're into the main blues chord progression here. So this is really an E7 chord, but these are common shapes that blues players use. And so what I'm doing here is I'm sliding up into the fifth fret. So I've got five, six, four, and again, one, two, three, four, five. That's from the capo there. And I'm playing just those three notes, then I'm moving down to four, two, two. And then I'm thinking of an E7 chord here like this, which is an E without that fourth string being fretted. So it's just ringing open there. And I'm gonna hammer into that first fret, which is a very common blues sound, right? You hear people like Clapton use that all the time. And then the high E. So it's those three shapes, and then I play the high E, and the rhythm goes. I'm using hybrid picking there, so, so that's pinching the strings. If you want to strum it, it would sound like this. That's totally cool too. And if you get that down, then you can practice this. It's a little harder, but 
a great sound. So we're gonna do that four times, and then we're gonna go to an A7 sound, and we're gonna do the same sort of shapes. Just one, one string down, basically. So here I'm sliding into five, six, five, now starting on the fourth string. It almost looks like a D chord, right? Just shifted over here. Then, this is a great chord, four, two, three. Again, three strings on these chords. They're like triads. And then, this is like an A7, but I slide into it and then play the high E again. So. So that's the first eight bars. So we're gonna do four times on what I call the one chord, then two times on this, which is the four chord, and then back to two times on the one chord. So all of that played as one piece, the first eight bars would sound like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and. to one. All right, now we get to the last four bars of our 12 bar blues, and here we're gonna play. So what happens there is we go up to the five chord, which is our B7 chord. We're gonna play two, four, two, four, two, which is a standard dominant seventh bar chord here. We're gonna play two bass notes. So two fifth strings there. Then we'll do two strums on the higher strings. So I'm breaking up the strings with a bass, bass, chord, chord, bass, bass, chord, chord, all with an eighth note rhythm. One and two and three and four and then A7. One and two and three and four and back to that first riff for E two times. So let's put all of this together. We're gonna play one time through this 12 bar blues. So just to review, it's four times on the E, two times on the A, back to two times on the E. Then we'll do the turnaround. One bar of B7, one bar of A7, and then two times back on the E riff. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and... to one. B7, A7, back to one. And that's it, that's the whole tune. Now when we do do the solo section, it ends up being an eight bar blues, so they cut the form a little short. What we do is cut that middle line. So we just do four times on the E7 and then we go straight to B7. E7, back to one. So that's for the solo section. Have fun practicing Lonely Avenue as recorded by Ray Charles on guitar. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, don't forget to get access to my exclusive blues guitar training series at the first link down below. Again, if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're going to get a ton more value out of this exclusive content that comes with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to get the most out of the lessons. Also, if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmcclennan.com. I've got 
a lot of great resources on there as well. As always, leave any comments down below for future video ideas. Thank you for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.